The grave's a fine and private place, said the metaphysical Andrew Marvel. But none, I think, do their embrace. He was denying what lovers know well, that their powerful feelings can so overwhelm, they can feel themselves to be immortal. When imagination tells them love lasts forever, it becomes erotically charged and fertile. For after dreaming of each other while sleeping, it's a short step from dream beings to spirits, to being spirits that weave in and out of each other, where, freed of their bodies, there are no limits. As they've experienced disembodied love in life, they can embrace the same notion again, sparkling with stardust, their smoke-like spirits eat ghostly lotuses and sip spectral champagne. Two spirits charged up in life with argon energy now glow with a deep blue light as they fuse. Flame-throwing kundalinis shoot out of their heads. Clouds of transcendent love are on the loose. To lovers it stands to reason that love is immortal, so why shouldn't celestial orgasms lie in store? Why shouldn't the purpose of life be divine foreplay, and the dreaded grave be an erotic trapdoor?